Welcome back everyone to episode 46 of Rule the Waves. That's not my usual start. Trip myself up, but that's fine. Let's just run with it. Uh, in fact, it would be great if I was adaptive enough to start off videos <laughs> not with the same formula. I know that YouTube stuff ends up being pretty formulaic, so you don't have to think about it. But it's more exciting to think on your feet, right? Speaking of thinking on your feet, no, I don't actually have a good segue. That's another trick that you'll see YouTube people use. It's just these little coined phrases. So, uh, last episode we uh, lost a battlecruiser due to a magazine detonation. Remember the Palatka. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we will remember the Palatka. That's going to be our rallying cry still. I mean, well, actually we're moving on to the Remember the Chickamauga after the German then took a serious blow... A very big victory for the United States. We sunk two of their battle cruisers at the cost of nothing. Uh, so that was a nice retaliation. And I suspect, now that we're really shoving some big ships into Southeast Asia, I suspect that the, well, I hope at least, that the German advances or the German victories are at an end. The main is being commissioned. We Oh, that'll help our budget. Um, and we sunk Minesweeper. It's not a big deal. A destroyer, also not a big deal. 11 to 2. Ah, oh, they sunk a couple of ours. 12 and 4. Yeah, enemy coastal raids. They only have a battle cruiser and a light cruiser, but if they give me a destroyer to command, I will be upset. Yeah, hooray! What, what do we have here? Yosemite. Okay, wow. Three Yosemite classes to make, you know, to do this mission with. That is completely okay. This is basically a repeat of the mission we did so well in last episode. So let's go ahead and we actually probably just need to sell straight. I'm finding that the most success in locating the enemy, by the way, time of day, just the early afternoon. We have a little bit of time before it gets dark, but I mean, I guess it is January, so <laughs> forget what I just said. It'll be dark pretty soon. Um, let's run it on ultra fast. Okay, so we didn't spot them. That means probably we won't spot them until, uh, well, that'll be it'll be the end. <laughs> we'll wait for morning to roll around. Uh, we'll just wait for this to go off of ultra fast, and that will mean that somebody has been spotted somewhere. Well, that's pretty good visibility, frankly. I paused it, by the way. No, no, what the heck? Oh, this is one of our own. Apparently she's lost. That actually does happen. They lose contact with the fleet. That's right. Come back. There we go. Okay, so she's back. And we're still in search of uh, the enemy. Where is the enemy? Well, they might be coming off of the southern tip of Newfoundland. As they do have... Wait, no, that's the British. The Germans have no bases here. So it's actually really to their benefit not to be caught. Because if we catch them, we will kill them. Did you see that? It just went... Oh, 7 o'clock. Okay, now... Nah. Where the heck were they? Well, they just stayed away. It was a battle cruiser. Would have loved to have engaged them. Let's see what it, exactly it was. Hindenburg looks like it was a light class, yeah. Would have been easy pickings for us, but... It was not to be. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so, well, we get some victory points. It's nothing. As soon as you end up having any kind of big fight where ships are sunk, the victory points for declining and anything else just becomes irrelevant. Alright, well, I don't think we have anything else to do but to push on. Oh, there was some comments. I mean, there's always comments. I respond in the comment section, and then I proceed to forget the comments by the next video. That's not really true. I don't usually forget them, but I'm sure I do. Ooh, that's a good turn for us in, as far as sweeping out the enemy submarines. Uh, now, we have three Dreadnoughts in this area, and we have light cruisers, and they... Okay, well, we'll do this. Please don't be light cruisers against the... Ah, uh, Bah Humbug. It's probably going to be light cruiser against their battleship or something. I don't even know what this mission was exactly. Was it... Okay, apparently it's just a normal duel. Wow. Okay. What we're going to do here is launch torpedoes right away. I'm going to go slow because this first moment is pretty much critical. Whoever identifies who first is going to win. OK, 
Okay, we decided to launch torpedoes. Hey, hell yes. Launch all your torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I don't even know how they were able to launch those first torpedoes. All right, you know what? We're going to swim towards them. <laughs> I was going to say spin. Oh, dear. Well, that's less than ideal. Hmm. So we do have three torpedoes per side. <clears throat> we only have one torpedo left. I think we just pull off. Like, there. That's... 33% of our torpedo is already gone, so we'll just we'll flee the scene. If it happens, oh yeah, especially with getting hit like that, just pull away. Get out of there. 17 knots, not exactly blazing speed, but it looks like we're going to get away. We had a chance. It's a shame that we had dreadnoughts in this area, and also like they had like cruisers, but yet it ended up hitting... Um, you know, the, the mismatch. It's just not as fun. I mean, if it was our Dreadnought against their light cruiser, I wouldn't probably be saying this. I'd be like, oh, that was a blast. But honestly, I would have preferred more than anything <laughs> a Dreadnought versus Dreadnought. And apparently we did damage with that one hit. So You defended yourself very well, Hudson. You acquitted yourself quite well. Okay, so now we have... Only four of these Terrapin Maximus classes built. Only four were ever built. Um, we probably will add a fifth. Now I do have the Cleveland is the next one. Nope, Cleveland, Illinois. Ah, I didn't update my thing. So, and Mars was already taken, I believe. Yes. So the next one is the Wyoming. Okay. These are still a ways out, two more years, basically. Um, and the other idea is, okay, so we have, we actually have some more light cruisers coming. Somebody was suggesting I build more, a lot of people have been suggesting I build more support ships. After they said that, I did build some more minesweepers. There's been some, um, talk about maybe building more, um, destroyers, but let's be honest, we're, in, in terms of destroyers, we're way ahead of the curve. So the next, uh, biggest number of ships, uh, destroyers, I should say, for another nation is 36 with Britain, and then 30 with Japan. And we're at 93. Even if you take away the 60 odd, it's probably less than that now, maybe like 55 or so just, uh, uh, invader classes, which are just strategic destroyers and not real escorts, we still have we still have over 30. So we're in good shape as far as destroyers go. Minesweepers, we're going to be okay because we're building more to offset the probably constant losses. I probably could just look. Oh my god, this is this actually is getting low. Okay, so let's build a few more. Out what this ship class was called. We'll just get 12 more. It's fine. <laughs> oh, we ran out of names. So we built so many minesweepers that there's not even any more names to give them. How many more did we build? We built eight more. Well, let's just hope that eight lasts us to the end of the game. <laughs> uh, I guess I could start giving anybody any name, any name from the ship list. Now, if you've made it this far in the series, I'm just going to let you in on a hint, which you probably heard at the very beginning of this series. I award, I mean, I, I let the ship name list go, usually at the last episode of my series, so that the people who really stuck along the whole time get to put their name on the, on the ship list name, uh, ship name list, first. Uh, this is not, I, I mean, th look, at this is no incentive. It should not be, at least, an incentive for you to watch. Just watch if you want to watch. Don't watch and be like, is this the episode? Or you can just come back and click on it, because you know this. But if you made it to episode 40, whatever, then <laughs> it's, it's far enough, in my opinion. You deserve this right. <laughs> come back and click on the last episode whenever you feel that it is the last episode, or maybe I put conclusion or final. What was I trying to do? Okay, so I built the Minesweepers. I do want to build, I think, one more of these... Terrapin Maximus class. Just one more. Well, I should say at least one more. And it's the Wyoming? We really don't have a Wyoming? Guess not. So the Wyoming class will probably be the last of the Terrapin Maximus. Maximi. Uh, we'll, well, five of them is pretty good. The next would have been the Buffalo. Then we had the Warthog, the Dependence, which is funny. Boxer and Alabama. 
but I don't think any of those would be named. In fact, Alabama, I think we already had Alabama. I just strongly feel like I already have an Alabama. But you end up putting so many ship names down, you no longer remember which ones you've used. Yeah, maybe, maybe no. Maybe I didn't. Doesn't matter. And just in time, we have some more minesweepers. I have to make sure to put those before I forget, after they work up at least, onto Coastal Patrol. Ah, Jared's injured. She'll be back. Cruiser action, um, decline. Okay, cruiser action here, I will accept. We have the superior cruisers. Damn it. It's always my hope that we'll get battle cruisers involved. And here we go. I mean, I might just move right to port, which is either north or east. Let's move north. What do we have here? Ah, okay. So it's a ship worth killing. These are... Yeah. The invader class. We do not want to take her along with us. We'll just move them back. Yeah, an AMC is going to be deadly for destroyers, but probably no problem for our Amelia Earhart. She's already doing good stuff. Fighting at range. They don't have armor. This is the one advantage. The huge advantage our light cruisers are going to have is that they have armor and the enemy ship does not. Which shows, I mean, I, I think it really shows how quickly they sink unless there's like a, a penalty to hit points or to flotation or something that AMCs get. All right. That makes sense that an armored, uh, well, I guess, I think an AMC, wasn't it the penguin who sunk the Australian battlecruiser or something like that? The main is here. Okay, good. Do not let them off lightly. That would end our series. <laughs> oh, wow. 10 and 1, that was not a good turn. It was an excellent turn for submarines in general. We killed 4, they killed 10. No, I just don't want to do an enemy coastal raid, I'm sorry. And I don't want to do this, but the temptation is too great. It could be a battlecruiser one. It is. That's really great. Not only that, it's the very beginning of the day. So we should be able to fight as long as we want. And I don't care what their ship is, it's not, well, it shouldn't be able to take on our ships. So let's put you guys at screen or whatever. Just move away. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with them, I'm just going to send them right to port. We have a support ship, which is our um, Pauli. And she's going to have to suffice. Charge after. Yep, it's a battle cruiser. I am interested in getting the wind side, but I'm more interested in pursuing. did turn in. This is good news for us. Is the wind or the sea condition? Yeah, it doesn't feel like she's going fast and it turns out she's going 17 knots. Well, you know, Pauli, if you really want to save yourself, I suggest, not just suggest, but strongly recommend you stop lagging and get your ship going. Still 17 knots, what the hell is going on? Okay, we've landed a few hits in the meantime, which is nice. Our battle cruisers are somehow better equipped. <laughs> they know how to accelerate. Which is more than I can say about the Paoli. Paoli. Ah, this is probably the infamous ship that was there at the sinking of the Palatka. So this really is kind of a more appropriate to say remember the Palatka here. 
rather than reference the Chickamauga. Okay, we have to be more careful here. Just gonna swim up. Okay, let's swim away. Swim, I don't know why I'm using this word swim so often. Let's use turn together just for a moment. Good. So I wanted the lightning not to just follow the hornet. Good. I wanted exactly this, two separate groups. But we need to still pursue this ship, which is as fast as our own ships. What is going on with you? Do you did you not get the order? 19 knots. Wow, she is just the slowest stupid ship ever. I can hear my not even very veiled. Oh god. Well, yeah, that was probably my fault. Was getting a little impatient there, but okay, she's sunk. We don't need to worry about her. Let's go after her anyway. I mean, let's go after the battlecruiser anyway. Let's probably detach the lightning just in case. I think she'll be okay, but... Hate to lose her just because of not really doing the right thing. Just pulling her off, getting her to cruise speed, slowing her way down. How's her flooding? I mean, it's one torpedo. We strongly suspect that she will survive this. Get her headed towards port, which is north. Okay. The nearest? It is. So head that way, going very slow. And then we'll we'll deal with you in a moment. Now I'm okay just kind of pursuing firing like this. It makes us still a small target. Now we'll start to move away. Blasting the hell out of her, I'm sure. We probably could launch some torpedoes to get her to evasively maneuver. This is going to further prevent her from really engaging us. But she's already going down for sure. How's the lightning? Just to check. Flooding's down to 10, so she's going to make it. Okay, good. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if those torpedoes connect or not. The damage is already done. I would say. And Paoli's gonna get her chance to launch torpedoes. Let's tell her not to launch quite yet. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, territory. And not yet. But now. Perfect. Okay, the Hornet just goes and protects the lightning. It's over for this Victoria Elite, uh, Luis, and you go pursue, there it is, ah, three, nice, and you shall go pursue this destroyer. I think you are already, yeah, firing at her, good. Shouldn't take much to sink her. Landing a few hits here and there. All right, that's the end of her. And that's the end of all of them. Okay, good. So we survived. We didn't lose a battle cruiser. Lightning got, man, with just one torpedo, it seems to have really done her in, huh? Success, great success. Another victory. Um, no, we don't need to, this is not memorable. This is exactly the status quo, right? Nothing more than what we do expect. To, excuse me. Um, all right, so let's see. I think just push on. Ooh, st more weight savings. Okay, who's done working up? Are these guys done yet? No, not yet. Soon and very soon.
Okay, well... We still have more territory we could hopefully require in Southeast Asia. And beyond that, we can either try to take some Western African holdings or just go directly to Europe itself to hopefully force a big battle. Let's take a look at what they have where. Yeah, they're still holding something. Remember, the it's it's an ironic twist. I mean, not ir ironic. It was planned. It was known from the beginning they would be our end game opponent, but we were in an alliance with them. You could probably spin that some way if you were really trying to build a story out of this playthrough. But I don't... I don't think there's anything else I want to do, so. Wow, thank you for the intel on their Minesweeper. Hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure, oh, 125. This seems to indicate it would be a battleship engagement. All right, I'm just gonna go right into port. I'm not going to play their game. There's only one thing it can be, and that's a Dreadnought. <sighs> See, I regret this. I really strongly regret this. Well, what shall we talk about for the next three minutes? It's going to be three minutes wasted. I'm not going to fight their Dreadnought with my two light cruisers. It's like death. Okay, there we go. Ultra fast until the game's over. Hmm. Guess I can take a drink and think about what comes next. Well, we know better than to try to accept. You know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the light cruisers out of here. Yeah, so what do we have? What ship is here? Oh, I'd love to kill it. It would still annihilate our light cruisers. <laughs> ah, it's an annoying little patrol, though. Um, huh. So let's go ahead and deploy... Who, by the way, is there? West Coast. Oh, the Tycos. Oh, yeah, I would love... I would really love that. So the West Coast... Light cruisers, you guys are all shipping out. You know where? To Southeast Asia. Yeah. Give us greater force of supremacy over there. I like it. Okay, now this, I will abs. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I, I, I just set it up perfectly and then the game declines. <laughs> Northern Marianas, convoy attack. I, I like convoy attacks. Okay, they're starting to just decline our actions, which means we'll probably have to go to Northern Europe in order to fight them. Okay, got some commissions, including the new Portland class. What are the Russians up to? They're building 15 inch guns at the end of the game, 1935. Good armor. 48,000 tons for 30... Wow, very fast. Not what I would expect from the Russians, but I'm okay with being surprised. Whoa! We we sank the Graf Spee. Spee! The Graf Spee! The Graf Spee! I, there's actually conflicting ways the way you'd say it. I looked it up. Just trust me. <laughs> That's the most common thing I've been asked uh, to correct. It's the Graf Spee. Graf Spee. It's kind of a Anyways, as far as I remember, what I was hearing is that there's um, like the Berlin pronunciation and then there's a different accent pronunciation, so the Graf Spee. Something like that. Okay, don't decline. Hooray! Our Tycos! Is this the first time the Tycos are being used? I already don't remember. Holy cow, I love them. No, I, I think we used them, but I'm very, very happy to be, to be in this fight. 
we will run down whatever this is. Whatever it is, we are chasing her down full speed ahead. Do not look back. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just go. Damn it. Okay, there it is. Get her done. It's already some good hits. Holy cow. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> it didn't really even give me time to appreciate it. <laughs> even in victory. <laughs> Excuse me, one sec. I was having some peanuts before, <clears throat> some corn nuts as well. Just got my voice all scratchy. Um, even in victory, the game ta taunts me, torments me, doesn't give me a chance to enjoy the victory. I mean, even one-to-one, -one, this thing was extremely outclassed. But I'm happy because it's been tormenting us. It doesn't belong here. Go away. Basically, this is my go away. Okay, so quite quite nice, though. The strategy worked, and this is why I was doing this in um, a Spain playthrough I did. Not a series, just a stream, a one-off or maybe a two-off stream. <clears throat> um, I was just building battleships so that I could get these um, better matchups. Battleships versus, huh, even though we denied our army money, they gave us 1,200, which again is nothing, but still. Yeah, so um, I was doing this battleship only strategy so that I could get matched up only against battle. I mean, obviously, the only thing I can get matched up is my battleships. So, the worst case scenario, it was my battleships against their whole fleet, but otherwise, it was battleships against my. Sorry, my battleships against their, like, cruisers. My battleships against their destroyers, which, okay, is fine up until 1910 or so. You can generally avoid them and kill them. Yeah, I, I put a lot of secondary guns on my older ships. Do they? Can I actually see? Oh, I can. Unfortunately, I scrapped all my battleships. We can probably open one. God knows what I called them. You probably remember better than I do. I don't know why I need to pull it up. Uh, O'Bannon class? That was my armored cruiser. I I don't remember what my initial battle cru battleship was. Was it the? Chicago? No, that would be... Huh. I'm probably passing it multiple times. Great Lakes, Grand Rapids, I think those are all cruisers. Kingfisher, Lightning... Minnesota. I could be right. Yeah, 1904 refit. There she is. Okay, so yeah, there it is. 20. So lots of secondaries was the only thing I wanted to say. I don't know why I had to pull that up to prove it, but I used a lot of secondaries on my original battleships, so they can, in theory, survive against escort ships. Escort ships become much more dangerous as you go on in the game. Okay, there it is, Northern Marianas. This is the last German possession in Southeast Asia. What I wanted to see, though, before I go on, if I can, and it will allow me to, is what was the Graf Spee? Oh, she was a light ship. Okay, so not much of a lot. I mean, a battle cruiser is still a battle cruiser, but one of the battle cruisers I would love to have gotten into a fight with, just because I'm sure we would have dominated. Now, we did get one more weight savings, but we have, I think, already this... Portland class has got to be the best light cruiser I can get anyway, right? In theory. You know what? I think it's time to pull one last hat out of my, I mean, rabbit out of my hat. One last trick in the bag. I could definitely build some more Cunninghams. I should, I don't, I really don't have that many. Oh, that's right. They got separated. That's unfortunate. So I do have a lot of <laughs> Cunninghams after all. The one thing I'm thinking we can build, I know it will be popular.
is the armored cruiser. <laughs> what if we built one? What if we did it? I'm thinking to make this like an exceptionally strong light cruiser with a lot of torpedoes. This is not at all what this looks like, by the way. Six secondaries, yes. Let's give them a lot. I find this graphic hideous. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Um, can we use triple? We can. What? Then why wouldn't we? Have centerline superimposed as a double. So we'll probably do the old one, uh, three, two, two, three. Um, good. So this is actually something doable. Now the cost to get her up to 31, which is probably what I need to avoid battle cruisers, is just a lot. 15,000, could be worse. As director, director, 3.5, 2.53. Uh, we need more ammo with that. That's the first thing we need. Eh, forget, on. forget the conning tower. I think we'll take this down to two, move this up to 2.5. Secondary is down to two as always. This thing absolutely needs torpedoes. In fact, I want it to be kind of a torpedo boat. Okay, let's delete the D, E, and go with H, I. Nice, seven torpedoes per side. So she's just a glorified light cruiser. She's definitely gonna win fights against light cruisers. And she has, in theory, the capability to escape anything else. <laughs> in theory. It's kind of fun. I mean, 10-inch guns, my goodness. We don't need 10-inch guns. I don't have any, any clue where um, the min-max kind of system lies with guns this... So 19 versus 24, 19.6, 20 versus 20.4 versus... 18, so definitely not eight. Nine is viable. With nine, can we get an extra knot? No. So probably 31 is where we sit with 10. This kind of worked. A couple extra rounds since we will be firing pretty rapidly. Um, I think eight six inch guns per side is good. We actually could do this in this is kind of insane. <laughs> Hideous, but possible. Now, Blinson, Battle Group Gamer, would recommend that you do more armor than this, since these gun these turrets can be easily taken out. And then you're down four guns at the same time. I might even do something like this. Did I already do this kind of configuration? I think I did. I like it though, I really do like it. This nine guns per side and three triples saves you a little bit of weight. You know, with this extra weight, we can just get more torpedoes. This is gonna be like a true torpedo gunboat. A few extra rounds. Um, okay, we definitely can't drop anything there. Well, how much does it cost to get the turret top? Oh, okay, perfect. Well, there we go. I think we can call this a ship. I'll save this design. It's gonna be saved as the New York. I don't know what the name will be. Obviously, we don't want anything more than Torpedo Protection 2. We might not even want to. Just the difference between one and two. The zero is, let's see, it's like 300. And then one to two is only an extra 200. So in my opinion, the two stopping points are either two or four. 
because the difference from two to three is also extremely expensive. We'll see it's you know, 700, but then three to four, another 300. So it's, it's really worth it to go only to two or only to four. But if you have only torpedo protection defense level one, obviously you should take that still. And sometimes if you only have three, it's still worth taking just to get the best because torpedoes is, I mean, obviously look at my ships. Probably 90% of my capital ships are sunk by torpedoes. So I think that that should be telling. Now, another thing we could consider doing is messing around with the engine priority or the range or something. Like if we did speed, does it give us, no, it's absolutely not gonna give us enough for that. So depth, just gonna go back to normal. So we'll save her as is. Um, I like it. I really actually like it. It's definitely not going to sink battle cruisers, but hopefully it can get away from them. So we'll give that one a new name and we'll uh, probably build a few of those just to give us something to do with our money. Um, I'm not even sure those will make it before the end of the series, but it's kind of fun to do it that way. And this was something that um, I, somebody was recommending to me. Was it Brian? I forget who. He's talking about this super light cruiser that's um, really effective in terms of engine, like horsepower per weight. And I haven't done any of the math, so I'm really blindly trusting that, or I'm not even trusting that. So that's not the reason why I'm building it. I'm building it because we can't, you know, people ask for it, and you finally can do it as the United States. You have the money to do it. You know, it doesn't cost anything at the end of the game to just, you know, what are you going to do with this money? You, you don't take this into the next game with you, so you might as well just burn it, right? Okay, anyways, that's going to conclude this episode. So thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.